what's up guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to discuss about how to create points manually in silver 3d and uh, we're also going to look at how to export the coordinates of those points into excel so i already have uh, my drawing my dwg drawing in silver uh, 3d but as you can see i have a drawing uh, it has uh, bearing and distances also it has uh, the acreage so assuming that uh, this drawing was sent to you and it's already it's already your reference and uh, as you can see the bottom of this menu uh, clearly the coordinates the coordinate is uh, in UTM uh, so clearly it's a uh, georeference so how do you go about creating uh let's say coordinates let's say you want to uh do subdivision of this particular property so how do you generate the points and coordinates of this particular property so that's what we're going to discuss to discuss today in this uh, video and uh if you this is your first time on this channel kindly subscribe uh, like and uh, comment i'll highly appreciate so let's get started and, uh, the first thing you need to do in order to create the points you need to find uh, the point tab the top menu is it's actually at the among the top most uh, menu bar and uh, it's right here point, it's called points so you need just need to click on points and choose the second uh, option which is press points miscellaneous then uh, you just go to manual read manual so if i try to press my cursor on one of these on this uh corners will realize that uh, nothing happens so that's because i have not activated uh, the snap tool so just need to activate the snap tool so uh, at the bottom of this uh, particular menu you will be able to see this icon or just you can just hover around and you'll see it's called snap cursor so just create on this particular arrow then you can choose uh, and connectivate center but just choose intersection because these lines actually intersect at a particular point and this corners uh, this particular point of intersection uh, are the ones that we're mostly interested in so now after activating the snap cursor or snapping tool now if I place my cursor, I will be able to see that uh, it's telling me that that particular point is an intersection. And uh, since my create point is active, I can simply click on that. And if you look at the command bar, it's telling you to enter point description. So it's already, it, it already have the coordinates. So what it telling you is to give that particular point name so uh just give it uh bt1 bt1 4.1 then enter so this time around is telling you to specify a point elevation and since uh, this not a, a topo survey or uh yeah, it's not as a topo survey. You are not inserted in height, so I'll just uh, skip by just uh, hitting enter. Just hit enter, and it's telling you please specify a location for a new point. So this particular uh, point has been added, and as you can see, it's right there. But uh, the name of the point has not been added. We are going to do that in a bit 
so go, move to the next point and it's right there i'm going to give it pt2 so click enter and elevation just click ok enter move to the third then give it a name pt3 hit enter again and lastly click on that bit pt4 click enter and again now we are done with points you can just close and uh, what we need to do uh, is to click on one of these points and then right click anywhere and click select all now with the point selected we are going to click go to home tab and find this uh, tool space then click on properties uh, we want to label our points now you should be able to see this uh, particular tab it's a point label as of now it's default yeah just click on that down arrow again what you want is description only and uh, just like that points have been labeled so now we have our points these are the points and, uh, if you want to prove if you want to look at the uh, the coordinates uh, head back to points point tab just click on it and then uh, you should be able to see this uh, list points click on list points and now we have your uh, points uh, the easting nothing elevation you have row description full description we have point number so now that we have our points we can actually export those points in excel so what we need to do uh just go back to points uh, you should be able to see this import stroke export points and we are interested in export choose export points uh, now uh, this export point uh, wizard the first thing you need to specify is the format and by default you can see it's giving me p n e z d in bracket comma limited so in short uh, it's going to export these points in uh, csv uh, comma delimited but the format now is a uh, point this point id uh, the nothing uh, n stands for nothing e stands for easting uh, z stands for elevation and d stands for description description or uh, the point name so you should you, but you can as well uh, choose you can click on this down arrow and choose the format that uh, you want but uh, i'm just going to leave it as p n e z d then the next thing you need to specify is the file destination where do you want to store uh, that particular file so you click on this uh, icon on the right hand side just click on it to search the folder where you want to store your points and mine i'm going to store it in the desktop uh, this particular folder and i'm going to give my points a name i'm going to call it theoreticals something like theoretical points theoretical points so just click open and click ok and uh, if now 
I minimize that and open my folder. And, uh, right there, I have my CSV points. I'm just going to double click just to open. And uh, you can have a look at that particular point. So you realize that uh, these particular points do not have headers. And uh, I can simply change the elevation to zero that so you can go ahead and format uh, your points first of all the points do not have headers you can go ahead and add headers so what you need to do is to highlight the first row and under cells just click insert and you can now insert our points just going to type in points and another thing you need to do you can just control it select everything that particular range uh, you want uh, to be centered ready to be centered and uh, our top our head has shown them bold and uh, so increase that particular so let's we said our format was uh p n e z e so we already have points next point is uh nothing type in nothing then is team span to elevation and lastly description Like that, another thing you need to format is so, yeah, so the precision. So just go ahead and highlight the coordinates and then right click, go to cell format, or you can just uh, go to uh, cell, uh, cell format under cell groups, and then choose format cells what we want is numbers and i want the numbers two decimal places click ok like that now you have your data in uh, excel so if you want to know if your data is uh, actually correct what i can do is to Minimize my Excel. You can prove that using a calculator. Let me just minimize that. Then you can open our Silver 3D. Now, if you look at our diagram, let's just confirm. Uh, Let's use one or two lines or just one to confirm if our, our points are accurate, correct. I'm just going to open my calculator and I'm using FXES, this one right here. Now, from point one to point two, uh, the bearing is three. The bearing is three forty-eight degrees thirty-eight minutes and thirty-five seconds, and the distance 
is 15.56 so we're going to use our calculator and uh, I'm going to use the poll function in uh, calculator and if you don't know how to use this particular calculator to do that calculation I already have a, a video uh, you can just check out on one of my on my videos and you'll be able to see or learn how to do that so uh, let's get to use Paul so what I need to do is to just click shift and uh, pass for Paul I'm going to add another bracket. So what I'm going to do is to subtract pt2, pt1, that's nothing. So my pt2, my pt2 is uh, 98. Eight foot five, eight fifty seven, point two zero minus uh, nothing for PT one is ninety eight forty five point two nine five. Then uh, close the bracket. Just delete that bracket. Add a comma. Then you're going to do the easting of PT2 minus easting of PT1. So easting of PT2 is 244, 745.34 minus easting of PT2, which is easting of PT1, which is uh, Point four zero. So add two hits. Uh, click equal sign. So clearly you can see the R. Fifteen point. Uh, and, uh, the bearing you can see is uh, minus one one point three four. Six zero. Five three eight eight. Now, so our distance is fifteen by five or theta or a bearing. Just bearing is uh, just negative one one point 
three, four, six, zero, five, thirty-nine. So if I click the resign equals to so this if you have a negative bearing what you need to do is to just add 360 now we have our bearing is uh 348 degrees 39 uh, minutes 14 seconds so which is very close to our bearing right here so that's it uh, for this tutorial. Uh, kindly uh, subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.